I am Pierre Hincart, and I have enjoyed living here in Annapolis on Saltworth Creek off the Severn River. My wife Danley and I have enjoyed the varied wildlife out there, but activity slows down considerably as winter sets in. In January, I'm always looking out for my all-time favorite mammal, the river otter. I'd heard stories about otters in the Severn in the past, but tended to dismiss them as ancient history. That all changed one morning in January of 2012, when I was lucky enough to have my video camera handy when an otter appeared on a float off the pier at our house. By the time I set up the camera ready to shoot, the otter had swum off and I was sure I missed him, but as chance would have it, he then pulled up on the shore across from the cove and I was able to get this short clip of him. It looks like he might be thinking about digging a burrow, but then it's clear that he's scent marking our cove using the scent glands at the base of his tail. That's one of the characteristic behaviors of otters, and I'm thinking maybe he likes our cove and he's claiming this is our territory. Otters are fish eaters, and we do have sunfish, white perch, and some other fish, and I guess some of them are still around in the winter. After catching a fish, they come out of the water to eat it, and that may be why he was on our float. Excited as I was to see this, I kept looking for follow-up otter visits without success. Web searches indicated that river otters are found throughout Maryland and the Chesapeake, but they tend to be most active at night and around dusk or dawn in our area. There are some great web videos out there of playful otter families cavorting around rivers, and here's a shot from one of them showing how they love to slide down snowy riverbanks into the water. After that 2012 otter visit, I kept a pretty regular lookout for otters, but never had another sighting. And I figured maybe I'd been lucky once and that was it. But then I woke up one January morning, six years later, looked out on the ice-filled cove and I saw this. We had ice eaters going on the piers on our side, but the snow showed tracks and slides that could have only been made by otters in the night. It looked like there must be several otters this time and they'd been running along the shoreline and then sliding out onto the ice and across the cove to open water on our side. What a disappointment not to have seen that, but how cool that it happened in front of our house. I was hoping for a repeat performance in daylight, but that didn't happen. But I do have a motion-triggered wildlife camera with a light, so that afternoon I set it up on the pier looking down at the float where I had seen the otter that morning. The next morning, there were more otter tracks in the snow, so it seemed like they were back for a second night. And this is what I got from that camera, which took a flash photo when it first detected motion, followed by video. It seems that the otter got up on the float, but then was scared off by the light and jumped back into the water. But it certainly confirmed that these were otters that were responsible for those tracks and slides in the snow. I do have one recent update on this story from February 2021, when again one morning I found otter tracks on that same float next to my pier. This time, my nighttime visitor left a sunfish head as well as tracks on the float. So now, thanks to that otter, I know that those sunfish that we see in these round nests in the shallows of our cove in the summer must be year-round residents. I gotta wonder how these little guys get along in that icy cold water but maybe that's why the otters are visiting us. So even if we don't get to see those otters, winter days do provide some nice looks at wildlife like this great blue heron who's working on his breeding plumage for the spring. And those hooded mergansers are always fun to watch as, as the white hooded males show off for the less colorful females. Like the heron, mergansers are fish eaters so I figure if fish-eating birds are around, otters could be also here chasing fish in our creek. And foxes are visible in the winter when they're establishing territories in preparation for spring breeding. They regularly patrol the shoreline looking for anything edible, which in this case doesn't look like it's much. So I'd like to think that we still have otters in the Severn, and there seems to be some great habitat up in the headwaters area where I'm guessing our otters are based. We've got to work on preserving that against pressure for development. And we've got to clean up the overall Severn watershed so future generations will also get to experience otters. <laughs>